Chris Aguinaldo, Cavalry Christian High School, San Diego, defensive coordinator. Aloha. Al Dave, San Diego, the Charger, Cowboy, play for San Diego State, Don Correo. Hey, Jim Weatherly, NFL alumni, San Diego. Mike Davis, uh, USC alumni, national champion, uh, fight on. That's that good, man. Come on, man. National scout recruiter by way of Detroit, Michigan. National scout recruiter here to have some fun today in San Diego. It's rock, baby. Chest out, shoulders back, baby. Hands out your pocket and get grimy. Dark and lovely, baby. Give me something. Boom! <laughs> Life brothers trying to make a comeback. <laughs> 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 Trey Jaquist, Lincoln High School, wide right receiver and DB, sophomore. Yeah, I gotta go pick up uh, my little brother from the right out. Um, Bayless camp. Okay, perfect. Like that's fancy, uh, you with the big, get away from him. Royce Rojas, uh, Southwestern Junior College, 6'6", 340, qualifier out of high school, 2.8 GPA. What do you want to major in? What do you want to do with your kinesiology degree? I would like to be an athletic trainer. Awesome. Thank you so very much. I'm eight years old and I go to Murdoch Elementary School. I go to Oak Park Elementary School. One of the restaurants. Those are the mission What it means to be an NFL player. Awesome. Like, like, we hold teachers accountable. I don't think we here. San Diego, man. Much love from this young man. I appreciate you, brother. We're going to watch you. Expect the big things. Papa Doc. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Got a class of 2014 out here. <laughs> Plays and grades with E. Sports is how we do it. Yeah. Thank right. you. My Look at the is, camera. My name is Jaden Smith. I go to Oak Park Elementary School and I'm eight years old. My name is Jaden Page. I'm eight and I go to Sparkles Elementary. What position do you play? Uh, we're back. All right. My name is Jakari. What position do you play? All right, wide receiver. My name is Dylan Hall. I go to Pau Middle School in Lancaster, California. I play DN, and I'm 13 years old. So you ran out of camp in Lancaster? Yes. You drove all the way down here? Yes. We're going to make you a ball player, son. My name is Anthony Littlejohn. I go to Bancroft Elementary, and I, my position is quarterback, and I'm 12 years old. Awesome. My name is Elijah Robbins. I'm no, 11 years old. I go to Sweetwater Springs and I play O line and D line. Awesome. Gentlemen. Come on, guys. What you, you afraid? No, Some girl might see your little smiling they face. They, didn't <laughs> they didn't want to break your camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No mercy, okay. baby. Okay. No mercy. Hey, my name is uh, Seth Meister. I'm in eighth grade. I go to CCA right here. And uh, I'm going to play receiver. Everybody grab the fruit. <laughs> Thanks to my man's mom over Let's give her a great round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. Good, all the way through. Put them on. Right, put them on. When I say jump, this. That's one. All right? When I say jump, that's one. That is one. Got me? Good. Ready. Jump. Bring your water back over here. Hey, what's your, oh, you, don't, oh, you, you don't want your water over here with us? I can't have none. <laughs> <laughs> my water. Yeah, That's it. Okay, you good, man. We'll follow up and get you out. We don't want to wait for next year. Right? Right. I mean, I was talking to about this the other day. Like, you know, the NFLPA. Is like the most undervalued resource the NFL and, and American football got. The most undervalued resource they got. All these old cats, all these old stories. And the fact is, the way they played football is what made football great. You know, they not 
they not getting them half of the, what they deserve. Chris Feather, yeah, Competition Academy, wide receiver, you defensive back. If you want to, come on. Uh, half speed. Rich at 16, Calvary Chapel, and Lionman. My name is Irvin. Last one and then sprint. Jump! Sprint! Go! 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 Oh, sir. How old are you? I'm 13, sir. What position you play? DN, sir. Ready? Go! Work the arms! 
Come on, man, move your arms here. Sprint out! You get it, you get it. No, down. you boy, you something. You gonna know something about track. You gotta get fast. Everybody gotta get fast. This is good form. Form running, okay? Good form, five minutes, that's what you're gonna do. Ready, show them an example. Get it up, you gotta get it up, okay? I'm gonna show y'all I can only do about three steps, okay? But it's like this. Kick it up and snap. Up and snap. Snap. Okay? Up and snap. Okay? Boom. 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 Get it up high. Okay? Snap it out. Get it up and snap it out. Ready? Go. Going up in here. Relax. Nose over. Nose over your toes. Don't lean back. Nose over your mouth. You're leaning back in the rocking chair. Remember I told you you're fighting yourself over here. You're fighting yourself. You're killing yourself. You're beating yourself up in there. You're beating yourself Relax up. Relax your shoulders. This way. Relax your shoulders and your okay. chest. I don't want you like that. 76. Go. 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 Take the hip. There you go. It's not a right. Get your hands up. You feel that? Turn the hip. You feel the hip? You feel the hip? Move your hip. Move. Turn the hip. Come on. 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 Come Ready! I want them hips. I want to see everybody's hips. Pow, 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 feet, pow. Stay on your toes. Ready, arms up. I don't want you going like a helicopter. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep your feet together. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yep. Cross them fast. Clock work. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Get him, get him out here. It's all about the feet. For Keep on. Good, good, good. It's all you cover with your quick feet. Quick feet, y'all. Quick feet. We're going to do quick feet. Real quick feet. You know the quick feet drill. Who know the quick feet drill? <laughs> all right, ready. It's just real quick. Show them real quick. Yeah, that's it. Get back. Let's go. Set. Go. Hold your arm. Your arm got to go real quick right there. Right there. Right there. Don't beat it up, don't beat it up. Come on, you got to go right here, right here. Get better. Shoot it back, shoot it back. There you go, there you go. You tipping over and turning over. You got to work on your form. It's a straight thing. Come up off that toe. Boom. Come up off the toe. Man, why don't you give them about two minutes to okay. talk about recruiting process okay. and the process of when you're talking to coaches, like when coaches call us and they need something, right, they often call us and say, ah, this guy's an eligible, I need a tackle, I need a defensive end, I need a wide out, I need a corner. All right, um, Man, y'all ate all my fruit. It was, uh, <laughs> that guy right there, that's why he's leaning down right there. That little light-skinned guy right there. Um... <laughs> Anyway, I'm Coach Mims, and um, a little bit about me. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. As you got, you know, we was back there, Powhatan. It's uh, it's a different type of animal in Detroit, and if you make it out, and like you said, urban. I was as urban as you can get. Okay. Now, the way I made it out is the same way he made it out. Okay. A scholarship is a scholarship. I went to Bumtucky State, which is fair state that. I use that because in, in an analogy, a, a, a degree is a degree. So wherever you get it from, Oregon, Michigan, UCLA, 
I talked to some of you guys and told you my son at the University of Illinois. There's no way he went to the University of Illinois if he didn't work hard. It had really nothing to do with me. He told me what he wanted to do. And I said, your mama can't come. All right, for those of you who don't know, his name is Grant. Reginald Grant, University of Oregon, New York Jets. Greenbrier Projects in Atlanta, Georgia. High Point Projects in Seattle, Washington. I am a child of poverty. Doesn't matter where you come from, it only matters what you go. You are in charge of your destination. You are in charge of your world. You have to take charge of that. So, it begins with academics. The better you do academically, the more options you have. Let me say that clearly and articulate that one more time. The better you do academically, the more control that you have. So if you don't like somebody, you don't like a job, you don't like a school, you want to get a new job, you want to start a new business, your academic skill set and academic accomplishments, that means graduate from high school, graduate from college, graduate from graduate school, have a significant impact on your income and your quality of life. It gives you options. So if you don't like a job, you don't like a situation, you can change. They can, you're going to run fast and jump high and do athletic things. At some point in your life, I don't care how fast you run, how high you jump, it will be over. Whatever you know, whatever degree, degrees you accomplish and you receive, you own that forever. Your brain is your biggest and most important muscle, not your body. All the other muscles are related to and affected it's by constantly the look, Constantly look, you know. So the process, that's it. It's just a process. Non-stop. Don't wait till your senior year and call me up and I'm going to say, man, it's, it's rough. All right, y'all. That's my time. Al, you want to say a few? Then Mike, then we get on out of here. Well. I'm not as good as you guys. No. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a matter of good, brother. It's true. about a practice every day. Yes. Come on, go on up front. What, what they're saying is true. And you guys can... Now, all of us went to college and somebody paid for our education, right. guys. It doesn't no matter how you go. It's just matter going. Go. Back, back when I was there, freshmen couldn't play. So I did went to junior college. And I went for two years there, a year and a half. But then I went to UC Santa Barbara on a football scholarship. And it didn't work out there with the program was not what they said it was. So I left, went back to junior college. I graduated. I had a football scholarship at Santa Barbara. I was pretty fast. I ran track it's back in junior college, and I got a track scholarship to come down to San Diego State. When I was on my way, I was working out with a football team before. And when my coach said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to San Diego State. He goes, oh, I know the coach down there, Don Correa. Let me give him a call. It's like they're saying. He called him and says, my guy's coming down there on a track scholarship, give him a look. He says, well, as soon as you get down there, have him come see me. So where are you going? I said, I'm going to be down there Monday. So go see him on Monday. So I drove down here from the L.A. area, down there, went up there, talked to Don Coriel. I said, God, come on out. And these guys, my coach hooked me up with Don Coriel. That changed my life. Guess what? These guys can hook you up. You got to know who. Somebody has to know somebody, or else I never would have got that. And that's what, that's what it's about. And... Also, the coach says, when I started out as a sophomore, I didn't play. I was no good. I mean, in the ninth grade, didn't play a, a, a single play. Tenth grade, I played a running back. And as a junior, I didn't start until about the fifth game. Somebody got hurt, coach put me in, I never came back out. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. Somebody got hurt put me in, and I showed out. I said, my chance, this is my chance. I've got my chance. I ran around like a wild man. And I never came back out. So of course, at halftime, okay, same guy started, except Al Dave, you're in, okay? And I never came back out. My senior year, I was the most valuable player on the team in all league. Everything everybody's saying is all. <laughs> Tell them about your, your, your journey. My journey? High school, college, you know, how'd you get there? What was your, your, your barriers? How did you overcome? You know, you don't have to be long. Just kind of give us a synopsis of your okay. steps and the challenges. Cool. Uh, I'll be quick. Uh, my journey, I went to, started out at Gar High School. Gar is over in Cerrito, California. Um, Gar sucked. We were, <laughs> we got, well, the, co the coach that was there when we were first there was great, but then uh, we got a new coach. He was whack. We went 0-20 my junior. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, dang. 
I don't have any shot. Like, I was balling, but it was like, I mean, I would make all league, but it's like, man, if I'm going to have any shot, I got to get out of here. So I transferred. So I transferred. We ended up moving to Irvine in California. And you know, if you've ever been to Irvine, it's a very different world. So it's uh, it's, it's kind of like a lot of, like, kind of like this area, a little, little more, a little more suburbia. Um, so I went to Irvine, did great there. Um, I was getting recruited, but not heavily. I was getting, uh, and I didn't get, like, I was getting recruited by UCLA. SC showed some mild interest. University of Colorado showed big interest, but I, I think I ended up not being a qualifier. Uh, I, like, right out of school, I'm not, I wasn't answering the qualifier. So I had to go to JC. So I went to uh, Saddleback College, played there for two years, got my AA, <coughs> had a great GPA, came out with like a 3.8. And then, uh, but I still, and I had, uh, I think I walked out with about three full scholarships. I had uh, Colorado State, um, Portland State, Liberty, Liberty University, which is back east, and Bucknell. Virginia. East. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was that in Virginia, right? I lived in Virginia. And then Bucknell. And, uh, but, so I was going to go to, actually, I liked Liberty, and I was going to go there, but then, uh, Long story short, something happened. My mom's got sick. I needed to figure out some way to stay here. Uh, we talked to USC. They didn't have any scholarships available right off top, so I ended up having to walk on at SC. So I came in as a walk on. Uh, another guy came in with me. They only took two with me and uh, another guy named Clay Matthews. And we came in, and uh, by the end of my camp, they upgraded me to an academic, and then by the end of my second year, I went on full So that's kind of how my uh, journey ended up going. Uh, and after that seat, uh, I had Run an actual championship while you there? Huh? Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so Show my, ring. Uh, my first year at SC, well, you know, we won at Saddleback too. My first year at Saddleback, we won the Strawberry Bowl.